what's good youtube man welcome back to another video um in this video as you can see by the title it is a q a um i got a bunch of questions that you guys have asked over a month's time span um i did put up some community posts so if you don't have your post uh, notifications on uh, please put those post notifications on because they don't only work for videos they also work for my community posts um and i posted on my community tab uh that I was doing a QA. And if you had any questions, you can ask me any questions that you like and I'll give my response. So um, I really appreciate the people that put um, questions and responded in their community posts. I want to get more active in the community um, tab just because that helps other people that have questions and maybe you guys have to answer somebody on the tab. So just create a community where um, it's not just me answering the question. Yeah, answering the questions um, that you guys ask. Maybe some people. Uh, have more knowledge than me that's in the comments that might has experienced what you're asking me so uh, make sure you turn on the post notification and check the community tab uh, for updates and uh, posts from me uh, so yeah I really appreciate you guys for clicking on this video uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you like the content because um, I have a lot of more content to go but without further ado let's get right into this video um, before I answer the first question this is this is my I'm answering these questions from my experience my experience um i'm not giving you career advice i'm just telling you most of these questions is going to i'm going to at, answer in my perspective and from my experience so it might work for you it might not take what works throw away the rest um and yeah maybe some some work some don't all work all don't you know you just take what you can and the rest you can throw away uh, but first question did you take your sick plus yet i passed mine but still trying to find a job any tips uh no i haven't pa uh, passed my sick plus yet uh i was supposed to take it in january but when i went to the testing center uh, it was a mix up and one nobody at the testing center when i arrived so i was late for my test so they gave me an extension so I i'm taking it this month uh, so yeah um uh, Congratulations on passing your your exam, your certification, and finding a job. Any tips? I would say, make sure you stay active on LinkedIn. That's why I found most of my jobs that I, I got I ever had on LinkedIn. Um, make sure you're using the people around you, your network, so the people you went to school with, uh, people that um, you might connect with at conferences and, and things like that. Make sure you use your network around you for job openings. Um, two, and I say. Don't be afraid to take, don't don't be stuck on like a title. So if you looking for like a cybersecurity engineer and that's all you looking for, expand. You might have to go to an InfoSec analyst. Um, so some of those type roles. So don't be stuck on just a title. Um, look at the job description. If it's something you, you feel like you're qualified for, apply. Um, and you don't need everything that's on the job description. So um, yeah. That's how I answer that. Next question. What laptop do you use? Um, I use a Lenovo um, Yoga. Uh, this is a two-in-one. Um, so it, can, it turns into a tablet, but I don't I don't use it as a tablet. I have my iPad. Um, so, yeah. That's what, what laptop I use for personal use. Uh, for And I have a MacBook as well. Um, as far as for work, um, the most I can tell you, I use a Windows machine. Um... Did you did your job train you great? How did you learn everything like creating policies or did you just learn as you go? Um, yes, my job trained me great. And this is kind of a different scenario because like I was a part of an apprenticeship program before I even was hired on in my company. So from a third party, I was basically a contractor at my job as a apprentice so like an intern type thing so um the difference between like an apprenticeship and an internship is at, a, at the end of apprenticeship you are expected to get a job um if the company is satisfied and you are satisfied um it's supposed to end in the job so um i was part of the apprenticeship program so that's how i got on at the company that i'm at now so and i took a lower paying job to get to where i'm at so that's why i say in the previous from the previous question don't be afraid don't be stuck on titles you know what i'm saying um i went from a technical support engineer to a grc analyst so yeah you might 
desire desire a like specific job or job title don't don't limit yourself you know what i'm saying so you might have to take a job that you think is beneath you which i hope you don't think is beneath you but you might think it's lower tier you might have to take that to to, to build on you know what i'm saying so to get to the next step you might have to take a step in between so yeah um and as far as like learning on the job yes i learned on the job i I got all all the track on the question but yes i learned on the job i was an apprentice so it was a lot of learning and training but i still learn as i go like you're never going to stop learning you're never going to know everything on your job i still i still continue to learn and build on my knowledge every day i started learning new stuff and i'm not afraid on taking new projects and new things from my team members so anytime they ask me hey you want to learn this or hey you think you can uh, figure this out yeah I, I take it so yeah i still learn on the job what's the pay like each week for this role grc be transparent please the minimum to the maximum I'm not telling you my pay, um, but I can tell you a yearly rate um, typically starts at around fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, and I've seen all the way up to um, ninety to a hundred thousand dollars a year for um, like entry level roles like GRC analysts. So, but yeah, I'm not telling you my pay. A week, two, like dang, dude. Um, this is a long one but I read it. Brother, I got CCNA, which is a networking certification. I heard folks with networking background transition into cybersecurity field more naturally after they progress into their career. How true is that? I am 22 years old for reference, so what would you suggest I do to better utilize my cert? Finding a network engineering job is not easy and and am not, okay. Uh, golly <laughs> it's typo hold on let me start over finding a network engineering job is not easy and and i am not getting a single call back no matter how much i apply and i've been working it since 18 and have a good resume with various positions from working as a field tech for dell working on hardware doing doing break fix and troubleshooting service stressful af especially because I can get called in at night to work on customer server who just went to S and E it to be operational before business hours to working as a desktop and help desk support and even as a network technician but could technically but could technically be counted as a junior network engineer because I was expected to keep my own workstations network operational, which went to shit many times. I wasn't meaning to curse. So I had to reconfigure everything anyhow. Your job title can be anything you want, LOL. Basically, I'm trying to say, I am experienced for my age. What would you suggest for me, boss? Uh, That was a lot. Um, But where I hear you, you have networking experience. and you're looking to get into cybersecurity, um, I'm guessing. And yes, yes, networking transfer to, to cyber to a certain extent. As long as you have that security mindset and have that security knowledge, you'll be able to transfer over. Um, it's good to have that networking background. It's something that I didn't have getting getting into security. So that's great to have. Um, but I mean, you're doing all the right things. I would say don't be stuck on the title, like I just said in previous uh, two questions. Don't be stuck on the title. Just continue to progress. Like you had a lot of different jobs, but each job seemed like you was progressing to another level. Don't try to rush it. You know what I'm saying? I know you want to get to a point to where you have uh, an engineer role or um, a security role, but you know, you're making great steps. So trust the process and continue to do what you do like you you're on the right track like you're you're where you need to be honestly just continue to do what you do and you'll be able to you'll be you'll be good i can just tell by how detailed your um question is (laughs) that you pay attention to detail you put a lot of effort into it um don't stress yourself out trying to 
like continue. Don't stress yourself out be, not being where your feet are. Like this is where you at in in this time. So make sure like you're not looking too far in advance. I love that you you want to progress, yes, but don't skip steps. Don't skip over steps. Like yeah, that's all I can say. Salute to you, King. Are you full time remote? And can you elaborate on that two things? Um, yes, I'm full time remote, and I don't know what to elaborate on. Uh, I don't go in the office. I only go into office if we have like a team bonding thing or meeting or something like that. I don't go to the office. I don't live here at the office, the home office. So I don't even have the option to go in the office. Um, next question How are you studying for your security? Plus, I'm currently working on taking the test on March 1st, but I kind of feel like I'm not ready. Um, I feel that. I feel that. I I don't. I ain't gonna say I don't think you never will feel ready, but you know, make sure you just feel comfortable. You're not nervous. But I, my way of studying is so unorthodox. Like I take, especially for the Security Plus, because a lot of stuff I already know on the Security Plus is more so a brushing up on my test taking and brushing up on how I come to you ask questions. So, um, but my way of studying is to take practice tests. And whatever I score score low on, that's where I focus at. And then I go back and take another practice test and, and keep trying to improve my score and focus on those low areas. That's how I study. Um, yeah, it might work for you, might not. Um, next question. I started my first DRC role on the 17th. Congratulations. Um, I would like to know what advice would you have for me to be successful in this role? Um, I would say continue. Go in with an open mind. Um, that you can learn from anybody on the team. Don't don't act like you just know everything and don't be expected to know everything. Ask questions, ask a lot of questions because being a GR, being a GRC analyst, most of the time it's entry level and people are expecting you to um, ask questions and not know everything. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, don't be afraid to take on new tasks. You know what I'm saying? This is your time to explore I don't think the team, well, I know for me personally, my team was not like hard on me uh, if I messed up on something. They, they didn't expect me to mess up on things, on, on like things that they gave me, but that was okay if I did. You know, um, they more so, if I messed up, they coached me up on what I did wrong, taught me how to do it right and go from there. So um, I would say, don't be afraid to try to, try new things to learn new things to continue to learn from everybody around you from the project that you do everything like that and you'll be successful in a row um next question any openings sir no we don't have any openings on my team next question can you make video on required certifications for GRC roles or how do you switch to GRC from a general compliance role um yeah, I can make that video. I can make that video. I think I, I have something like that on my page, but it wasn't that in detail. So I'm, I would do a detailed video. Yes, I can do that for you. Hi, what is the best certification for a software developer to have on their resume? I'm not a software developer, so I couldn't tell you from my experience working and talking with software developers, it's not necessarily about certifications, how it is in security. It's more so about like projects and the languages you know and being able to um some some jobs give coding tests or interviews doing it doing like for interviews so it's more about showcasing the skills that you have to to code um so from my experience it's not any certifications but anybody in the comments can correct me if i'm wrong and that looks like all the questions that i do have um, I am going to make a part two to this video, so if you did not get your question answered, make sure you comment it down below and make sure you subscribe and turn your post notifications on because a lot of these people got these questions in from, this, from the post um, on the comments on the community tab. So uh, make sure you get your questions in, man. I, I really want to do this more and interact with you guys more and more. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate you guys.